Can you make the next video fast? <laughs> I'm studying for my podiatry test. Mm. No problemo, Uncle V. Let's start off by creating a new document. 1920 by 1080 at 72 DPI. And I'm gonna click on my artistic text tool. And I'm also gonna center it and double click this here so I could see what I'm typing. And click around the middle where I see that green line. And now I've got it centered and I could start typing what we want here. And then I'll click the arrow so I could go to my, uh, change my font quickly. And this is Contrail One, it's a free font from defont.com. And I'll click on character. And then this all caps here. All right, so starting to look good. I just wanna make it a little bit bigger and uh, I could probably adjust the kerning a little bit too if I was really picky, but I'm gonna skip that. Control and drag out so we have large text and that will work. So for now, I'm gonna lock this and I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna create my hatch, hatch lines on this layer. So let me go to my pen tool and I want a a stroke on here and I want it to be like a medium gray color and I'll probably need to change this but let's just see what we get from that all right not bad just maybe a little bit bigger for the stroke and go back to my arrow tool and I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit so I could see things more clearly what I want to do is hold down alt and drag this while holding down shift and I'm just making the spacing roughly the um, same width as the width of the stroke. So that is about what I want. And then I could press Control J and that makes a bunch of copies and I could keep pressing that, but that might take a little while. So what I'm gonna do is uh, not move that line, but center up my screen better and then I'm going to select these by left clicking and dragging and then while you do that if you want to select things that are not completely within your marquee you got to left click hold drag over what you want and then you got to hold right click and then you see everything is selected and then you got to while you're holding down right click let go of left click and everything is selected it's a little bit of a uh, a to do but you get used to it after a while and now I can hold down alt and drag this over while I'm holding down shift and uh, just want to kind of line it up if it's not perfect it'll be all right and uh, now I just need uh, to do that one more time alt drag holding down shift and I could delete those extras but uh, for now I'll just leave that so left click hold down right click left click, hold down, right click, release, left click. And now what I could do is, I gotta zoom out because I need to see this end over here. Alt drag, holding down shift. And if I zoom in, I could get this a little bit closer, but it, it's not bad. All right, so now we've got our hatches and I'll put this down below because we don't need to see that on top anymore. Um, and uh, we can unlock our text layer here. So and we actually want to select it too. We want to make it a symbol, so we need to open our symbols window. You just go to view, studio, symbols, and we got our symbols. It's already selected, so we just hit create. And now all I have to do is alt drag to get a copy. And uh, this copy, actually I want it to be below. So I'm gonna click and drag down here and now that uh, we've got this below what we could do is click and drag but not below this is our hatch layer but to the left we could see we had a different look but if we go right over here this in between the uh, the little symbol and the words we uh, create a clipping mask and um, that is basically the effect now I could take this layer and I could put a, um, a stroke on it. So let me go to stroke, click on that twice, 
and then I'll go here and I'll make it bigger. If you want your strokes to look good on text, you almost always want to have them aligned to the outside. Now that's, that's pretty large. Uh, so and the, the thing I want to do now is change the color. So I'll click here once, click a couple times until you get this thing to pop up and I'll make this white. So now we've got that separation and you could move your text around to the spot where you want if you want a bigger or smaller look. And you could also, if you want a uh, another hatch, you could just take this layer and pr press a uh, control J to duplicate. And it's right on top of the other one. So let's move it. It's also the exact same color. So I'm gonna change the color by turning sync off and then going to this one I want to go to its effects and do a color overlay so I just click on it and then you'll see the uh, color you could change that or you could just leave it as black or you can make it whatever you want I'm gonna leave it as black I think that works and then you can uh, place this more precisely uh, I, I kind of like it when it's just offset a little bit and maybe something like that so it's right in between the uh the gray ones and that is basically it so turn on sync and um oops didn't want to move that hit t for the type tool and you can see it is still live and editable so we've got this nice live editable hatching shadow effect